There is a new debate, new divisive debate in the Westminster bubble as Eddie Izzard, the former comedian uh, and the future first female Labour leader, is standing to become a member of Parliament to join the House of Commons, that other circus. So we already have enough clowns in the Commons and we're going to get Eddie Izzard as well. Now, he's creating a very divisive debate uh, right now, Eddie Izzard himself. Uh, well, he's, he's talking about the pronoun stuff and he wants to be she. And uh, it's not just because, oh, right-wingers are being rattled uh, and they are scared of Eddie Izzard. No, the Labour Party themselves are completely divided on this issue. They are cancelling each other left, right and centre and they don't even know what to do. Rosie Duffield, a Labour MP who, who's, who's a feminist, wants to fight for women's rights. She's been cancelled and she might even leave the Labour Party because of it. Now, Lee Anderson was interviewed by Mike Graham on Talk TV about this issue. Let's go to the interview. Uh, Susan Hall from London Assembly this morning. Uh, we were marvelling at the uh, interview conducted by Keir Starmer about all women's shortlists and about whether he would put Eddie Izzard on one. He couldn't answer the question. Uh, he wouldn't answer the question. He refused to talk about individual cases. Oh. Um, but the answer is pretty obvious, isn't it? You wouldn't do it. That's the thing. We talked about this yesterday um, when Keir Starmer was being interviewed uh, on radio. Uh, he, he still doesn't know what a woman is and he couldn't make up his mind when it comes to Eddie Izzard uh, because uh, there is a push uh, from parts of the Labour Party who want to have this all-woman shortlist for candidates and some of them wanted to put Eddie Izzard on the all-woman shortlist. <laughs> Which, again, is funny, but it's also very dangerous because um, there are already a, a lot of disadvantages to female candidates inside the Labour Party and now they have to deal with this problem. Now, let's go to Lee Anderson. Well, I, I don't know what, where Labour stand with this all women shortlist, Mark. I've, I thought they'd scrapped it. I think they've got 51% of their MPs now in Parliament are females. Now, if Eddie Izzard gets elected, I don't know whether that increases or decreases the percentage because, I mean, I'm not sure what he's all about. <laughs> That's a very good point, considering there are now 51% female Labour MPs. If Eddie Izzard gets in... Is it going to help the 51% to go up or is it going to help the 49% to go up? We don't know. Dharma is not sure what it's all about. You know what? The old traditional working class Labour voters will take a look at Eddie Izzard and think, well, you know, really? Uh, is that what's coming to Parliament? Uh, I think it just opens a, a whole new debate, mate. And, and I, I'm going to be honest now, controversial, um, as always. If he does get elected and I'm still here, I shouldn't be following him into the toilets. <laughs> uh, <Susan>. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Yep, he went there. Yes, Lee Anderson went there. Now, that's going to trigger more leftists because they don't get jokes, obviously. They don't understand what's going on and they're easily, easily offended. And um, so that, I mean, also, there's a point to it. We know not with Eddie Azad himself. We know we, we can't accuse any like random people of random things. But uh, there, there has been a lot of cases, let's just say, uh, when it comes to the danger to women's rights and women's safety. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.